obviously it's been a uh, it's been a tough week here in Baltimore, but you know, I always love having a conversation with our next guest. He's one of my favorite people. I just wish this wasn't the topic we were talking to him about. He um when he arrived in Baltimore at a very young point in his career, he was playing behind the likes of Tony Saragusa. And of course he went on to have a decade here in Baltimore as one of the most beloved figures in Ravens history. It's always a pleasure for us to welcome back in our friend, Buddy Lee himself, Mr. Kelly Gregg, who's with us now here on GCR. Kelly, it's Glenn. I'm sorry this is what we're talking about, but I always appreciate you taking the time for us, my friends. Oh, well, you bet. I appreciate you. Yeah, just awesome. Just a, man, what a terrible week for the Ravens. But, yeah, I mean, like you were talking about Goose. I mean, you know, I remember when I first came into the Ravens, uh, you know, my first week there, he sat me down and he was like, hey, man, you need to gain some weight and play the run, and you'll have a uh, have a great career. And I mean, I, I I mean, I tell you what, I mean, I owe all the you know the playing I did to Goose. He's, you couldn't ask for a better teammate and a better person. Man, tell big Goose. Tell me about the you know Ed Kelly. Everybody's when we're you and I are going to talk plenty about his larger than life personality, and you know you know how many stories have been told and how many will never be told um, about uh, Tony Saragusa. But as a teammate, as a leader, as a football player. Can you tell me more about what he meant to you in carving out your own career? You know, obviously, I mean, you know, when you look at uh, Goose, right? And, uh, he's not the most like one of the smartest guys. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you, you, you see him sometimes stand up there in his stance and he's reading the backfield. I mean, he, you know, and, and that defensive line room, especially, you know, me being on practice squads around the 2000s, you know, it just gave you so much confidence. I mean, that guy, I mean, you know, toughness and everything. More than anything, he was he was one of the smartest guys. I mean, you know, they everybody was trying to scheme to get him and Sam off the field. Uh, you know, the way they stopped the run, it's because they were both so smart. Sam was explosive, but Goose was so smart. And I mean, I, I just you know, just being around him made you a better player. And you know, I mean, everything that I would use, you know, to my uh, to read the, the formation, everything I learned from Goose. I mean, you know, and he was one of those guys that made everything fun. It was tough two-a-days and everything, but, you know, Goose always had a smile when we were working and everything, and, you know, just, you know, sometimes you'd be around veterans, uh, there'd, be, there'd be some guys that may be a little, uh, you know, maybe didn't want to give you all, you know, give you everything to try to hold you back, but not, you know, I mean, Goose, was, I mean, he was just wanting to help all the young guys and everything, and usually when you have a big guy like that, I mean, you don't find guys like that, but, you know, Goose would gave you the shirt off his back. I mean, he's, he had no problem hazing him, too, for the record. He had no problem. I, I, I'm not, I, I sure, I know. I, we were talking yesterday with Jelly Roll. He's like, dude, I would buy $1,000 rib dinners, but he paid me back. <laughs> That's the way it went. Uh, Kelly Gregg. Uh, Kelly, you, I feel like there was a parallel. Yo, Goose was someone who came in undrafted you were a late round pick um someone had to go the you know, the practice crowd route right. at the beginning of your career did you feel parallels to tony did you feel i, I know he was you know more massive than you were um which is amazing to say because he's probably about the only human being that was more massive than you but like did you feel parallels between he and yourself Oh yeah, he would he, he would talk about. It. I mean, I never forget. He told me he lied to the Colts to tell him that he could deep snap. Yep. You know, to go there as an the free agent. And, you know, once he got there, you know, uh, obviously playing the run, and you know, it, it was a great system there. We always, you know, learning for him to keep the money clean with Ray back there, and just the way he played. But yeah, definitely, and he'd give you that confidence too. I mean, he'd say, you know, I, I remember him sitting there and he we're, he's kicking field goals at the old. I mean, uh, kicking field goals and kicking footballs over the fence at the old practice facility. And I just remember him, you know, saying one day, he's like, man, I've done this for 10 years. He says, you can too. And just the confidence. And, you know, like you said, with Jelly Roll and everything, that defensive line room, I'm there. there'd be so many posters in that wall because guys, you know, just toughness, fighting guys. You know, we'd have to cover up the walls and everything. I mean, uh, you look back, and that was some of the – playing with him those couple of years was, mo- was the most fun football I ever had playing with a guy. That's awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. Did you ever, did you ever try to get him to wrestle you? Did you ever, like, maybe try to shoot one time with him? Yeah, I used to tell him all the time when I was a young guy, hey, well, I'll wrestle you for checks. But, now Goose, I mean, I was, <laughs> you know, he was the state champ. But, now Goose, uh, you know, I, I mean, 
too much respect for Zeus. You know, he would have thrown me around. Oh, I would have, I would have paid any number to have seen that match. There is no number. I don't care what the check is. I don't care if it means I would have had to give up my house. I would have done it. I would have done it to have seen and, that. You know, you know, like you said, me, me backing him up for them couple of years, and then once he retired. You know, we, uh, you know, obviously with Rex still being around, yep. you know, I never wanted to let Tony down. You know, the way they played the run so hard. And wow. They, I mean, you look at those guys with the technique and, you know, just learning from him and Rob Burnett and Michael McCray and those guys, you know, they would come around and uh, after they retired. And you just never wanted to let those guys down because, I mean, the toughness they instilled in us and young guys. I mean, I, you know, I, I owe my 13 years in the league to do. Wow. I mean, it's really powerful to hear you say that, dude, because, like, look, you know, you were going to try to have a, a career for yourself no matter what, but you genuinely thought about that as, as you moved into that role and over the next decade was, I have to live up to this standard. Uh, yeah, definitely. Play like a Raven, and, you know, big 98 there. And, I, you know, like I said earlier, I mean, he was the guy that, you know, when I was on the practice squad, I was like 270. And, you know, he was like, hey, use this as, like, as a redshirt year in college and gain weight and play the run. And, you know, that's one thing, uh, you know, we were never the prettiest guys in our pads and anything, but that, that's one thing great about the Ravens. You know, they didn't care what you looked like as long as you could play and great, great effort. And, I mean, yeah, that, you know, I'd, I'd go in there and if I got blocked, I'd feel bad for a play just because I felt like I let Goose down. Man, that is, that is, that is wild, Kelly. I never knew that. That's really wild. That's so cool. That's so powerful. One of the best stories ever. I'm playing. I mean, this is my – I get off the practice squad and I'm playing on that 2001. And I'm starting on goal line. You know, I have to have like four defensive linemen to start on goal line. So I run out there, and I'll never forget. I, thought, I forgot who was playing, but Goose was like, hey, we know where they're running. They're running at you, Kelly. And I'm like, you know, I was like, man, please be quiet. They're going to hear you make it, you know. And, you know, just, just that, that good, you know, that good ribbon, skin like an armadillo. You know, and I'll never forget. I was like, oh, my God, they really are coming towards me. <laughs> like, hey, they're running at Kelly. And just – you know, just the most – I mean, even in the games, we had so much fun. And that's the – I mean, that's the way you should play the game and live life. Hang on, you, but you're burying the lead. Did you make the play or not? No, I think it was a play-action pass. Oh. I'll never forget. I was like, if they run over me and they score, I'll never get back on the field. No doubt. Right? No. Yeah. How, do you, how do you even walk back to the, the, the sideline at that point? Right. You know, oh. that was just him seeing what kind of guy you were, you know, to try to test you. And once you were in, man, I mean, he would – he would do anything for you. I mean, he just, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better teammate. Man. Oh, um, do you have a favorite? Did, did he ever get you on a prank, Kelly? Did you? Did he ever? Well, of course, famously, we all know what he did to Shannon. I mean, everybody, everybody oh, is familiar. Yeah, was, I'll tell you, one of the best ones he ever did, we went deer hunting, and we got a deer, and he was going to mount the head, and he brought the head in the Ravens locker room. And, you know, Ray, all those guys, those tough guys. I've never seen so many guys. Uh, run out of that locker room where Goose was chasing with that deer head. <laughs> just, <laughs> I I'm loved it. I've I'm never seen those guys. Those guys were tougher than anything. And you thought a dead deer, they, were, they, they ran for the hills, those guys. I'm literally picturing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, just coming in and coming after him. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray, did you see this yet? <laughs> yeah, see what, we, see what we shot? See what we shot? And those guys, they blitzed out of it. I think it was a big old 10 point, too. <laughs> That's so great. That uh, is he, so he always wonderful. had it so much fun. I mean, I'll never forget Matt Simon, the running back coach, yeah. uh, comes into the defensive line meeting room and he's like, "Hey guys, this is when they're, uh, you know, we're, they're playing them in the playoffs. Denver Broncos. He had coached at Denver, and he was like Tom Nailing and these guys. And I just remember Goose slamming the door in his face. Get the blank <laughs> out of here. You ain't, ain't nobody tougher than us. And boy, they dominated that <laughs> offensive line. But I, you know, Goose didn't want to hear it. Goose was like, we're going to go out there and play our way and punch him in the nose. Yeah. I mean, it, it, by the way, it worked out for you guys. It, that, strategy, <laughs> that strategy appeared to be okay <laughs> for yeah, what you were right. able to do, man. Um, that's right. Uh, boy, Kelly, I'm I am literally I'm going to pee myself in a second <laughs> <laughs> listening to you talk about Tony Saragusa. Uh, some of the things that have, that have come up this week, um, and, and, and you weren't here in 96, but you still arrived in the infancy of the franchise. And, Kelly, you know what the Ravens became in this town, obviously. Right. I credit Tony with so much of the relationship between this city and this football team. Look, you guys won a Super Bowl, and, and, and you had superstar players, and this city was always going to inevitably embrace the Ravens. But the personal connection 
and you know this as well as anyone, because you were a defensive tackle and people owned your jersey in this town, right? Like, the, the, right, that's all because of Goose, you know? Right? Like, you know, that's, what, that's what Baltimore is, you know? I mean, obviously, you know, NFL players, you know, they want them 6'4", 280, but, I mean, Goose brought that toughness to that Baltimore, you know? Like, hey, you know, we may not be the, you know, we ain't, we ain't winning no eye test, but, you know, darn it, ain't no one going to run on us, and we're going to knock your rear ends back in the backfield, and, you know, just sort of that hard worker mentality of Baltimore, you know? Like, that's what, you know, all, you see all the guys would wear 98 Goose and yep. know, the people. I mean, it, it's just hardworking, tough dudes. I don't know that there's any football player that did more for the relationship between this franchise and this city than Tony Saragusa did. Like, I just – the, the, the touch, the connection, the willingness to go out and, you know, grab people by the back of their neck and, and tell them that they, they love them, you know? I, I just I, – I don't know. I don't know that there's one person that meant more in establishing that connection than Tony did. I agree totally. I agree totally. I mean – he, he would stop for everybody. I mean, he was just bigger than life. Yep. You know, it was just, it was so fun to be with him. And, uh, you know, just everything. I'll never forget trying to hide on hard knocks, you know, <laughs> down in that bar down there. Because, you know, I'm a young guy. And Goose was like, hey, we're drinking, you know, having a good time. But I tell you, when it was time to work and get after it, there's no one that worked harder. But, you know, he always had a lot of fun. And, you know, that's, you know I think the people in the city grew for that. You know, football's supposed to be fun. And there's nobody that had a more fun. I, I could still see him making a tackle for a loss and doing that big old yeah. thing, them wings, yep. you know? Yeah. I mean, He's smiling down on us up there right now. I don't I don't remember who it was that said it the other day, but imagine being a guy who had two sacks per season and yet you had a sack dance. Like, just. Right. Yeah. Hey, Goose is one of the only guys, too. We're playing the Titans. I'll never forget. He goes to the uh, – in the first quarter, I think he goes to the hospital in ambulance, and he comes back in the fourth quarter. <laughs> You're the only guy ever to go – off in the ambulance to come back and play in the same game. <laughs> like, like he's like he's Ric Flair in a pro wrestling match, you know? <laughs> right. The Ravens, were, I'll never forget, one of the best ones, too, where that year where they were rolling nothing. They were back. They had some beer out the old practice facility in the snow. They were going to have a Ravens Christmas party. Here comes Goose walking around at practice. We're drinking a six-pack. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? Right. Ain't I'm, no one going to run on it. No doubt. Bill, Bill, you know, was great, you know, just letting those guys – I mean, obviously Marvin Rex and those guys, but I mean that those guys on that defense, and it started with Goose. Uh, I mean, Goose was the one technique and everything, and uh, you know kept that money clean, let Ray make all his passes. No doubt, no doubt. I mean, I mean, as we know, right? I mean, Ray. Yeah. Once he was gone, Ray was like, "You guys go bet better go get me Haloti Nada. Like you guys right. better go get me that dude." I and not, not to say that Tony Saragusa made Ray Lewis. Like Ray Lewis is a you know. A, an iconic, yeah. but he he made him different. I think like he allowed him right. to become the superstar. Oh, yeah, Ray yeah. Was great at everything, but you know, just sort of like uh, you know, they would uh, Goose would always say it's like batting practice. You know, everyone's gonna go yard and back. If we keep the guys off Ray, he'll knock Eddie George out every time. Exactly, exactly right. God, and you know, and the best thing too, for as much of a a larger than life personality as he was, every time I listen to somebody tell me about. Yeah, but he cared about his family more than anything in the world. He loved us. He took care of us as teammates. It it it's staggering to me. Like it, it, there's a very Santa Claus like mentality that we're talking about when it comes to Goose. Oh yeah, I'm, I mean we're playing. I'll never forget. He's having conversations with you. I mean, everybody loves Goose. I mean, you know, it's just because he, you know. Sometimes, you know, the guys playing the NFL, they may be ego or something, but yep. never Goose. You know, Goose always. And I loved him on the sideline. And just, yeah, it's a, it's a shock. But I, I tell you, I mean, we all should strive to live life like Goose. It's tough. It's tough because what you're, I know what you're referencing, Kelly. Dude, it, he's 55 is way too young, but Jesus yeah. Christ, did he pack about 150 years into 55, man. Like, definitely, definitely, about, uh, about three lives worth of human <laughs> into in the right. the one life that was cut short and that sucks so much. Um, That's right, dude. We I could do this for an hour with you, bro. I could I just it. sit back and listen to you tell stories. I know. I, are are you still doing the radio thing out in Oklahoma? I'm still doing the radio. Yeah, my wife says I got to do something to get out of the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. You bet. I, yeah, I'm, I'm so thankful. And again, like. I, you know, I wake up every day, and I, you know, I owe most of my, I, you know, Goose and Rex help me out the most. Man, well, you know, you know how it is back here. Anytime you're here, you know how beloved you are. You know, oh, 
th- there's never going to be a night where anybody's going to think you should have to pay for a meal in this town, my friend. You know that's well, the I case. Appreciate- I couldn't thank Baltimore enough. The organization and the people. I mean, that's like, you know, it's it's a storybook career. And, again, playing with one of the best guys ever in Goose. I mean, I tell you, I've got to pitch myself sometimes. Man, Kelly Gregg, truly love you, my friend. Thank you, as oh, always. Thank you. Love you guys. Appreciate you, dude. We'll talk soon, all right? You bet. Thank you guys so much. Whew.